Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Hi everyone, my name's Steve. And I'm Peyton. We're so excited to continue God's big story with you. We left off last week when the church was just starting to grow. After Jesus died, rose from the dead, and went to heaven, we saw how God sent the Holy Spirit to the believers. When Peter spoke to a big crowd about Jesus, 3,000 people put their faith in Jesus on that day alone. Every day, more and more people were choosing to believe, and the believers were sharing their lives together. They helped each other by sharing their homes and their food so that everyone had what they needed. We're going to tell a story. Are you guys going to count back with us from three, two, one? Are you ready? Three, two, two one. There was a crippled man who sat in front of the temple gate called Beautiful. Each day, he would beg from people who were going into the temple courtyards. One day, Peter and John were going to the temple. The man who couldn't walk asked Peter and John for money. Listen to what Peter said to the man. It comes from Acts chapter 3, verse 6. I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man up, and suddenly the man felt strong. He jumped up on his feet and started to walk. I have been healed. It is a miracle. God is awesome. People and soon a big crowd gathered. Can you all at home be the crowd? Great. Peter spoke to the people. In Acts chapter 3, verse 12, listen to what he told the people. Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. The God of our fathers, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, has done this. The people must have been shocked and amazed. Maybe they did this. Listen further in Acts chapter 3, verse 16, what Peter said. This man who you see and know was made strong because of the faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Whoa. The religious leaders were angry. Hmm, let's see. Do we have any angry religious leaders? An angry religious leader. Can you give us your best grr? grr. Let's hear you guys at home. Can you do that as well? Can you give us your best grr? Awesome. These religious leaders were not happy with Peter and John because Peter and John were talking about Jesus. And the leaders didn't believe Jesus was the Son of God. So the leaders showed up with the temple authorities to arrest Peter and John and put them into prison. The next day, a group of religious leaders, including the high priest, Annas and his family, gathered together. They ordered the guards to bring Peter and John to them. The religious leaders wanted to question how these men had the power to heal someone. In Acts chapter 4, verses 8 through 10, listen to what Peter said. Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. He said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, are you asking us to explain our actions today? Do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't even walk? Are you asking us how he was healed? Then, listen to this, you and everyone of Israel. You nailed Jesus Christ to a cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. 
Peter also explained to the leaders that Jesus is God's only son, the savior of the world. He continued and said, you can't be saved by believing in anyone else. God has given people no other name under heaven that will save them. The leaders saw how bold and brave Peter and John were. They realized that Peter and John were normal, ordinary men. They didn't have any special training to talk about God. The reason they were so brave was because they had been with Jesus. The leaders were stuck. They couldn't say that the miracle didn't happen. Everyone could see that the man had been healed. So they gave Peter and John a warning never to speak in Jesus' name again. But Peter and John replied in Acts chapter 4, verse 20, they said, We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. The religious leaders couldn't find a reason to keep Peter and John in prison, so they let him go. High five. Peter and John went back to their friends and told them about everything that God had done. Lots of people who had seen the healed man heard Peter's message about Jesus and put their faith in him. The number of people who had decided to follow Jesus had grown to about 5,000 people. Things had been pretty tough for Peter and John. They were even thrown into prison just because they were telling others about Jesus. But they were able to have determination because they knew something important, something that's true for us today. You can keep going even, even when, when it, it gets, gets tough. tough. Peter and John were normal guys, just like us. But what made them different was that they listened to the Holy Spirit and allowed God to use them. We can be like Peter and John if we are open and willing for God to use us, even when things get tough. Let's pray right now and we can ask God to help us stand up and be used by him, even in tough situations like everything that's going on right now. Go ahead at home. Can you fold your hands, close your eyes and bow your head? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the encouraging story that you gave to us from Peter and John. Thank you for how they stepped up and laid hands on a sick man and he was healed. Give us courage, God, when things are tough and we're faced with impossible situations to pray for others, to stand up in difficult places and declare your name. Help us, Lord, grow in our relationship right now in this tough time, that you would fill each boy and girl who's listening right now with determination to have what it takes to go into tough situations and stand up for you. Help us this week, Lord, be with our families, keep us healthy in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thanks for praying at home with us, guys. Peter and John were confident and bold. They were sure of what God wanted them to do. The Holy Spirit gave them the courage they needed to take on tough things. You see, Peter and John knew it was their job to share the good news about Jesus. They knew that Jesus was the one they had been waiting for, the one who God had promised from the beginning. Remember, keep going even when it gets tough. You know, when things are tough, you can decide to make the wise choice. God can use you to change someone else's life with the power of the Holy Spirit. You can lay hands and pray for others just like Peter and John did because the Holy Spirit is always with you when you trust in Jesus. For example, if you've ever tried to learn a musical instrument, let's say a piano, it seems like it would be so easy and fun, but it's actually really challenging, especially at first. You have to pr practice piano so much, but if you keep at it, you'll get much better. That's true. The same thing is true about sports, like soccer or basketball. You have to learn the rules and the basics before you can really play your best. You have to do lots of warm-ups and other exercises too, and that can be tough. Sometimes things that you try might start out pretty easy, and then they get harder. When that happens, when you get frustrated, don't quit. Keep going even when it gets tough. Remember, God is with you whether you're practicing piano or learning soccer. He's also with you if you're going through some tough time at school or at home. He is with you always. Let's, let's do the memory verse. Okay, so we're going to go to Galatians 6, 9. Can you guys say it with me? 
Good. Okay. Ready? Let us not, not become, become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. Great job, guys. You know, we also have some devotions further on in the presentation. Go ahead and download the, those devotions so you guys can work together with your families at home and get some encouragement so you can keep going even when it's tough. Thank you so much for spending Sunday morning with us. And we want you to know that we have some new small groups that we're starting up. Whether you're a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter what your age is. If you go to ctkchurch.org, ask your parents to help you get signed up and plugged in with a small group so you can be part of learning even though the, when you're at home right now. Make sure also to try the memory verse challenge that's coming up next. We also have a Wednesday night program. You, we'd love to see you guys for that. Have a great day. Thanks for being with us today.